This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome back to the second episode. In the second episode, we're gonna be creating uh, our shop and also we're gonna be uh, setting a picture in the background so it's not uh, looking like this because this is pretty simple. So, uh, I did find a picture for my game that's uh, copyright free. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description. So I'm just gonna upload it real quick. You just pull the picture in your, into your Unreal Engine and you're gonna have it like this. And we're gonna go to our master UI and this image we're gonna rename it to the background. Background image. And let's set it to be our kitchen background, just like that. And as you can see, we still have a tint, so we can uh, do whatever we want. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker for the better feeling, <coughs> like that. Also, this text, we can uh, simply put it into the top corner, or rather bot corner, bottom corner. This is just gonna be simply our game name. We can size it to content. make my game name smaller and we can call it uh, something like uh, oh not here here grandma's kitchen like that and make sure you anchor it to the bottom so when we change the resolution it's still gonna stay in the bottom and we can uh, change the font if we want I like it can put it like that. I like like this. You can change the color. Let's make it like that. So here uh, we will create shop from the oh, from that side. So first uh, first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and find the cookie image. So we can use cookie instead of this uh, cube that's not really pretty. So be right back. So I went ahead and found the cookie image on Open Game Art. So let's go ahead and put it inside of our game. So we have cookie now. And how do we change the cookie? If you remember, we have a second UI for this button, and this is our clicker UI. And here we can set a cookie image. In, so make sure you set it in all three styles and let's click like that but as you can see it doesn't look very good so let's go and fix it uh, that's simply because wait, how much is it? 32, 32 because of our size box so let's put it 200, yeah, 200, 150 is working pretty fine, yeah, that will be good. So now here under the cookie we need to change the tint because our cookie looks uh, very bad like that. So normal, hovered and pressed. But I also want to add some animation to it, so uh, let's see. If we press it, oh, as you can see, we have these borders here. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and change it. So let's uh, go to the normal outline settings, zero, 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 and width also zero. And let's copy it. Let's paste it to every. So now what I want to do is when we press the cookie. We want it to make we want to make it a little bit smaller. Let's say 28, 28. So uh, this thing uh, is not gonna work since we have a size box. So I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna change the size box and replace it with simple overlay like that. And here we're gonna need new sides for our cookie. 
and I'm gonna set it to be 100, uh, let's see how much is here, I don't remember, like 150 and uh, maybe 100 because it doesn't look very good proportions uh, let's make it like this, so 150, 100 is gonna be the default so le let's change it and when we press it we want to make it a little bit smaller so 150 we're gonna make it 150 let's see how that looks like so let's go back to our master UI uh, let's size it to content this doesn't matter so let's see how it looks like as you can see now the cookie is changing his size but I think it's too much uh, change of a size and also I think I need to add it a little bit more to the Y to make it look more natural I think this will work good I am simply gonna make 140 and 110 I guess compile save and as you can see now we have a cookie but I still don't like the size so I'm gonna change it you can change this size to your liking of course I think this is gonna be perfect size yeah this is perfect so as you can see now we have uh, animation going on uh, let's make it uh, a little bit better and uh, let's make a cookie stay for example on the oven I guess let's make the point stay there like that change the anchors and let's see how that looks like now as you can see we have a our cookie there and we have a cookie points and I think I'm gonna put cookie points here because it's a better place and it's easier to see let's see how that looks like let's uh, make it to stay more um, that should be good so position to zero compile and now we can click cookies perfect so uh, here I'm gonna also change the color to be brownish mm. not really brownish but it will work for now okay so we changed the cookie design we changed the background in the kitchen we changed some things and in the next episode we're gonna be adding shop so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.